Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot. And in this whole video, we're going to look into Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and also a Sagittarius Rising weekly general tarot reading, uh, October 18th up until October 24th. Uh, 2021 and uh, should you be interested in a personal reading with me guys or if you do want to take my tarot classes uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website where you can view and purchase either or both of these services and as well if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and uh, you wish to support us just leave a like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads and as well uh, live streams so with that uh, set aside, let's uh, have a look what Sagittarius is to experience into the upcoming week. And the very first card that you do Sagittarius have, that is going to be the uh, King of Swords. Uh, followed by the second card here, which stands as the Judgment. Uh, moving next, what we do have, that will be the Queen of Pentacles. Furthermore, we do have the Moon card. And uh, the last one that we have, that will be the Three of Wands. And uh, this, uh, my God, how do I explain the situation? Um, again, let me show you the card. So we do have the King of Swords with uh, the uh, Judgment card, uh, followed by uh, the Queen of Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have the Moon card. And the last one that is to be the Three of uh, Wands. Uh, there are gonna there there is gonna be a peacemaker here okay or um, uh, that is the best word that i can find to classify this person the king of swords uh it's basically what happens here is that when this uh, individual manifests into your environment which could be a person you know or it could be somebody brand new um they will make a point, a very strong point of that you are missing on an opportunity of another person that you this time you know. No different than, for example, being breaking up with your boyfriend or with your girlfriend or whatever. And then a common friend of yours uh, is uh, giving a very strong uh not proves but uh, how can I say a tangible evidence so to speak that you are kind of like acting here prematurely and that's uh, the, the thing that you do have in between you two is doesn't have to end right now same thing falls in term of a business venture uh, and so on and so forth so we do have a week where in my country at least we say that somebody is gonna lay a brain into ourselves or into you this time around um and uh, it's the, the, the whole situation is not without any marriage, okay? So the, the separation that took place, uh, which could be a separation of a friendship, of a partnership, even could be a separation of a relationship, has its problems, okay? And, and before that person here of the King of Swords stepped in, those problems uh, seemed unresolvable. It kind of like they were rather... Um, <clears throat> not just overwhelming but they were a indomitable but now with the appearance of the king of swords uh the way out of these difficulties through a very careful analysis is to be revealed so the, the this could be uh considered also as a couples therapist business advisor it doesn't have to be somebody that's uh you know it's a very close to you so uh as we start the week we are here with the king of swords it's uh, accompanied with the seven of uh, wands so we do have a active friend into that position and that is a person who pretty much urges people or in this particular case urges you to fight what you have to 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 pretty much do whatever you can to withstand your position uh, of course until you do exhaust every possibility out there and by the appearance of these cards you haven't yet and uh, it, it all falls to that that together you and that king of swords are going to make a very careful analysis over the situation you have with the other person okay over the the the, the circumstances which are depriving you and depriving the other person as well of making a good partnership, relationship, unity, you name it. And through that careful analysis, some kind of a strategy, 
a plan or simply to go list is to be established which to go list is gonna or a plan or a strategy they're gonna have a a very effective means a very effective actions and again that could be a lawyer it could be a a, a couple therapist that pretty much if you do follow their lead if you do follow their guidance um, there are going to be a very big result in terms of a strengthening up uh, your relationship, business partnership, or uh, simply a, a contract that you're trying to sign up with somebody or with some kind of a company, whatever. And uh, the Seven of Wands here to the King of uh, Swords, it only speaks that there couldn't be a better time that that person is to show up for you. And the results of the showing up of this person, it is a judgment. And the judgment is the card like the wake up call where everything pretty much makes sense. Where if there was a, a gap into your puzzle of life, you know, you just couldn't make sense of any of it. Uh, here is where the whole piece pieces of the puzzle they pretty much snaps together everything starts making sense and now you pretty much know um not just only what you got to do but as well what 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 the call of that situation is what, what what is the reason why these things are happening and why what is the reason you to try out a new okay and uh, judgment usually manifests when you do have few options okay like uh, an option to for example start a new job an option an option to go forward by yourself not being in a relationship or an option to jump into another relationship you know but none of these options really come perfect and all of these options they do uh, require a considerable amount of compromises so those options can work out and when the judgment card, which is this new revelation through the careful analysis with the knights, with the king of swords, I'm sorry, uh, shows up, that is going to be an option that it makes the most sense out of everything. And it is the moment where pretty much the uh, the whole situation becomes a, a well oiled machine that pretty much works perfectly for you. And that machine is related to the person you already know, the Queen of Pentacles. It is a catalyzed by the Page of Cups. So we definitely are talking about a, a relationship here. Um, first of all, that is a person who feels very strongly for you there extremely emotionally attached to you and uh, what matters for them it's the future uh, they are willing to look the other way for whatever problems you do have in between so i'm sorry of saying it but the majority of the issues why you cannot keep up together either in business or either in a in an intimate relationship it is because either you are not agreed with something you cannot live up with something that they do and so on and so forth i don't want to say that the problem it is within you but it is on your turf you know, the most of the, uh, how can I say, conditions, so to speak, so the whole thing can work out. And uh, the Queen of Pentacles, it's uh, it's pretty much willing to try out, uh, to develop the potentials you both have in between one another that are here to for and explore. And therefore, like I said, that this, this individual is willing to change positions, to change opinions, to try another way, you know, and to stop being addressing the minor details that uh, your behavior and as well your approach has, but instead to focus on the overview, which the overview looks uh, rather a, uh, a great. And uh, right after that, the uh, moon card plays out. And we do have a little bit of a double edged sword here, Sagittarius. So First of all, with the moon card, whatever your decision is, because here is where you have to make a choice. Are you going to make it or are you going to break it? Whatever decision you are to make, it is there to stay. But the thing is that whatever decision you make, uh, it's going to, um, how can I say, a it's going to play a major role in your life. So we do have... Um, a sequence okay so we do have a sequence here of events that uh, that you will have to experience say the sequence uh, the sequence is 
um, being successful and being happy. You cannot be both at the same time, but this is a sequence that you are going to go through. And here you choose, you are to choose which comes first into the sequence. Are you going to be successful first and being single while you are getting yourself being successful or being in a relationship and not being successful while you quench your relationship and then become successful. So you get to decide what your sequence is going to be towards the end of this week. And uh, your decision in regards to that situation is going to be a final decision. You, you Once you do make the, the very first step or you traverse a certain threshold, there is no going back from it. And... Um, it's uh, very likely that at that point you're going to feel emotionally unstable. Uh, you're going to have these fantasies for the doom and gloom. It is like the world is ending down, whichever choice you make. And that is very normal for the moon card for you don't know how the future is going to play out. And, uh, and you're going to realize that a lot is riding on this train. The appeal here of the card it is just to make up your decision, to make up your choice because in one way or another you are to experience both of these uh of these future states and uh, once you do make up your choice the three of ones plays out for you and at the end of the week once you do traverse that initial threshold of insecurity and instability you are to see that rather you are sitting on a quite solid patterns well established foundations and that you can rely on a lot of your uh current accomplishments and the thing here is that with the three of wands it is that you gotta figure out how you can challenge yourself because through three of wands that is how you make improvement you cannot expect better results when you do the same thing over and over again you simply gotta do better and how you do better when you challenge yourself and another thing about the three of wands it is that you can expect at the end of the week the circumstances that are surrounding you are to completely reciprocal to your expectations so if you are to do something, your expectations should be a good expectation. If you have to do something and you are expecting nothing good to come out of it, then probably that is not something you would you, or you should do at all. So with that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys, for October uh, 18th, I'm sorry, October 18th up until October 24th, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we are to see each other next time. Until then. Bye.